This is the current state of the CS2 sticker market. Looks good, right? But why exactly are we seeing these spikes? And how can we capitalize on this? In this video, we'll go over the secret application data behind the stickers, and I'll end the video with my strategy to turn this into a profitable investment. Let's start by going over the most recent sticker collection. Paris. As we can see by this index, the overall prices for Paris have seen some good gains. Taking a look at their applications, we can immediately see why. An incredible amount of new Paris crafts has been made in the last couple of weeks. For some stickers, we even see an increase in crafts of over 20% in just the last month. This is an incredible amount. But what caused this? From images over on various social media, I think we can deduct that this spike in crafts was mostly caused by the new update. Players now have countless new opportunities to make good looking crafts, which will lead to more stickers being applied and ultimately to more capsules being opened. Let's take a look at which stickers show the most interesting trends. For the Paris glitters, four teams stand out. Complexity, Fluxo, Ant and Team Liquid seem to be the most popular stickers recently. For the hollows, the results look a little different. The difference in applications is a lot more equal, but we can see one significant trend. The stickers that see the biggest increase in application are the stickers that weren't the most popular at first. Actually, most of the popular stickers are down here, at the very bottom. This doesn't mean that these stickers have now fallen off, but it does mean that the recent update has had a lot less of an impact on their overall performance. For short term gains, I think the top applied would be a good choice. But for the long term, you'd need to look at the total applications rather than just the newly crafted. Let's quickly go over the Antwerp stickers as well to see which are the most popular there. For the Antwerp glitters, we can once again see a couple of clear winners. Imperial, Team Liquid, Eternal Fire, Astralis and Navi have all seen an increase in crafts of at least 20%. The Antwerp hollows are a bit less spectacular. We do still see some big gainers, like 9Z, Complexity and Eternal Fire, but none of them reach the 20% mark. What is interesting is that for both the glitters and the hollows, the increase in the use of the big sticker is minimal. If there was one sticker I would have thought would benefit from the custom sticker placement, it would have been this one. Alright, so we have discussed what the current sticker data looks like. But how can we turn this into some cold hard cash? Since all of these stickers are discontinued, we can safely say that the stickers that are crafted with a lot should see some increase in price as well. Even though we've already found some great outliers in terms of crafts, this data is not yet enough for me to start throwing my cash at them. I will be tracking the use of these stickers over the next couple of weeks to see exactly how they move. Then, during the sale of the upcoming Copenhagen Major stickers, I'll be buying into the most popular Antwerp and Paris hollows. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on exactly how these stickers move in the next couple of weeks. For now, that's all I have to say. See you in the next video.